Okay, I'm here with Tor from TC. We're old friends. Yeah. Yeah, we've known each other a long time. A long, long time now. At least like, uh, well, it's got to be seven or eight years. Yeah, sure. I, think, I think one of the first times we met was when I was, I was showing you the token pills before they came out. And that must have been like seven years ago or something like that. Exactly. Like which by the old studio you had. Yeah, my old one in Santa Monica. That's right. Yeah. So, And that's a good place to start, actually, yeah. because my question is kind of, a, like, you guys, you know, the pedal market's so crowded. There's so much out there. Yeah. But you're constantly trying to innovate, which I really appreciate. And uh, I mean, you know, for instance, with the tone print, that's innovative. And then with the the app that you came up with for the, the, uh, the phone, beaming thing, yeah, yeah, to load the tone yeah. print in was amazing. You know, so you don't need the cable or anything. So that was uh, uh, really innovative. So, so where do you see like the pedal market headed? I know you've got a couple pedals here with some great new features, new yeah. versions of the Flashback and the Hall of Fame. Um, what's left to do? What's left to innovate? What are you excited about in the future? Like, what do guitar players still need when it comes to pedals? I think, you know, I think there's tons of ways to innovate still. Yeah. Um, I think both in terms of just, you know, sounds. Yeah. That, you know, you can create new sounds that nobody has heard before in terms of just the effects of mixing two or three or four different effects together to create something new. A new, new unique hybrid sound. Yeah. Um, so I think that's one way of, of innovating. Another way of innovating is what I think, for example, we've done with Mesh, and that's just scratching the surface of that, but that's basically controlling effects in a new way to create new sounds. And I think a good example of that would be the wah pedal or the whammy pedal, okay. which, you know, when they came out, it wasn't like a filter hadn't been invented before, or it wasn't wow. like pitch shifting hadn't been invented before, but the unique thing and the thing that made it cool and fun was the way you controlled it. So I think there's a lot of effects out there that you know we already know, but we go like, oh, if we control it that way, it actually almost becomes like a new thing. Offers up a whole new world of yeah. possibilities. Yeah. That's amazing. So tell us about the mesh. Yeah, so the mesh thing really just came about from the fact that when we were doing these version twos, I was kind of scouring our Facebook page and some forums for you know stuff that people went like, oh, we love Hall of Fame or Flashback, but we really wish it had, you know. And I kind of we threw these things into the into the new versions. And one of the things that came up a lot of times was, oh, it should have an expression input. And yeah. that would have been a really easy thing for us to do. Sure. But I was, you know, I was kind of thinking at that time, you know, if I go through like, you know, the gear page, uh, places where people just post pictures of their boards, yeah. that I really rarely see anybody having expression pedals ever. Right. Well, it takes up a lot of space. It takes up a lot of space. It's an issue for me. And you can only hook up, typically, unless you have a multi effect, you can only hook it up to like one pedal. Yeah. So yeah. if you had like three pedals with expression inputs, it's like you, you have this immensely huge board with expression. Sure, sure. So we were kind of thinking, okay, so if nobody's using that, there doesn't seem to be a hell of a lot of reason for adding it. Yeah, okay. Um, but at the same time, I was like, but there is a lot of fun things to do with expression pedals. Absolutely. So one of the engineers said, well, you know, we can just build into the foot switch. And I was like, <laughs> 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 so right. we worked on that. So it, it turned out to be that, you know, what was supposed to be like a really fast, like, oh, let's throw an expression input on there and we'll be done. It takes like a week extra work. Yeah. It turned into like this one and a year half project to invent a pressure sensitive foot switch. But that's really what it is. It, you know, you can press down on the foot switch yeah. and it detects the amount of force you apply to it. Yeah. And it converts that into, you know, some kind of thing that you can control. And with the tone print stuff we talked about before, you can assign the foot switch to anything. So wow. on a delay, you can control the level, the feedback, modulation, delay time, pretty much anything that's inside the pedal parameter wise, you can assign to the foot switch and then control in real time. So cool. Yeah, that's amazing. So do you do that uh, via software or can you do it right on the pedal, like assigning the control? It's uh, it's uh, it's in software, so you need okay. to use the tone prints. So all the all the default sounds and the tone prints yes. that come for this already have something assigned to it. Okay. But we you know we we took some choices on behalf of of the guys using this. So for example, on the on the tape setting, yeah. When you press it down, it's going to crank the feedback up all the way. Yep. And then you can control the delay time with your foot, so you get like these classic kind of self oscillation. You know. Uh, How do you control the delay time with your foot? Basically, just. Was just holding it, and so it'll ramp feedback and delay time? Yeah, the, okay. as soon as you do this, as yeah. soon as it engages the mesh, the feedback is just cranked all the way up and it stays there. Okay. But because it's pressure sensitive, it'll detect how hard you press it down, and that ah. basically applies to doing, it's the same as doing this. 
Okay. So, so you have those classes. So no matter what the pre- sorry to interrupt you. Uh, I was just gonna say so no matter what, I want to make sure I understand. No matter what the pressure, the foot switch, the feedback is gonna go to ten, yeah. and then depending on the pressure, that's changing the delay. Exactly. Back. Amazing. Yeah. So yeah. you can do those all those classic kind of you know end of end of the set you go like and then you leave the stage. You can just do that while you're playing. I want it without even trying. <laughs> I, I really that's it. That's super cool. Um, well, thanks for uh, for sitting here with me and telling me about this. I can't wait to try this. Oh, yeah, it's, it's a lot of fun, trust me. <laughs> cool. All right, thanks. thanks. We're going to do a tone print. It's been a while since we did the last one, maybe. Yeah, we did, uh, I think. Phaser Helix a couple of years ago in your studio in Santa Monica. Right? That's right, we yeah. called it Lumpy's Revenge. Yes. I oh, remember. Nicely remembered. <laughs> and and that, that pedal sounds great. And yeah. and I did a delay one a long time ago. Yeah. A mod delay, yeah. I think, was, was really cool. Yeah. I loved it. So um, we're going to do some new stuff. Yeah. And um, we've got pedals here. So watch out for the uh, uh, new Pete Thorne tone prints. So it's a delay, and when, when you hit the, it, you can turn on the delay. secondary function that's like an expression pedal when you hit the switch all the way down it obviously is dropping the delay to half the time and ramping the feedback all the way up and turning the mix up a bit I think. Preset uh, that swells when you hit the mash control on the new Hall of Fame too, and we're just adding a little bit of shimmer in, but not. I don't like the shimmer thing when it's too. No, it might overuse. Yeah. Yeah, you know what I mean. When it's or when it's too obvious, too loud. So, let's see if we can get it. It's gonna be a cool sound though. Doing is I'm swelling by hitting the uh, the mash s- switch. So you just strum the quarter of I mean, the guitar volumes all the way up, and then until I hit the foot switch, the, the effect doesn't come on. Nice. <laughs> Out. So this is what's your fuzz called? It's called the Rusty Fuzz, yes. and it looks cool as hell. I've never even seen this pedal, and uh, listen to it. So this is the Rusty Fuzz now with this uh, Hall of Fame um, swelling, uh, shimmery, slightly shimmery, not too much. Check it out.